Tonight, southern New England is remembering the historic floods one year later, which is one of the most damaging natural disasters ever to hit our area. And while thankfully there was no loss of life, many Rhode Islanders are still feeling the ill effects to this day. And today, local leaders gathered at one of the hardest hit landmarks, the Warwick Mall, to reflect on the floods and the ongoing recovery effort. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now with the details that are new at 5. It may seem hard to believe, but it's already been a year since a big chunk of Rhode Island was buried under floodwaters, the likes of which this state had never seen. The images will stay with southern New Englanders for the rest of our days. Parts of Warwick, West Warwick, Cranston, and other communities devastated by flooding in the worst natural disaster in Rhode Island history. Today, almost a year later, the leaders who guided the state through its crisis remembered where we were and reflected on the mission that still lies ahead. There's still so much more work that needs to be done. Too much construction in floodplains, for example. But through all the chaos and the confusion and the pain, Rhode Islanders leaned on each other. And the real way that Rhode Islanders come together, whether it be the Council of Churches or our local faith communities, um, our local social service agencies, um, everyone really did come together. And the commanding general of the Rhode Island National Guard focused on the single most important fact of all. We lost no lives in the flood last year, and that alone is a major success in any major disaster. But plenty of lives were changed in a big way. Coming up new at 6, we'll revisit people on Perkins Avenue in Cranston for their feelings a year later. Live in the studio, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.